Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news. The American Central Bank's September policy review has been a hawkish hold, as expected. It kept its policy rate at 5.25% following a 25 basis point hike in July, but signalled there could be one more hike this year. They pointed out that their labour market strength isn't wavering and inflation risks remain high. Tighter credit conditions haven't dampened activity to the extent they need, and they remain, quote, highly attentive to the inflation risks. In the economic projections they released with today's decision, the dot plot shows most voting members see a higher rate by the end of this year. Essentially, they are signalling that rates will stay elevated well into 2024, with fewer projected cuts. In Japan... Household assets are growing, and in a different way to the usual cash priority they have had traditionally. Total financial assets rose 4.6% in the year to June, to 14.3 trillion US dollars. That's almost 200,000 New Zealand dollars per capita. But the cash portion only rose 1.4%, while equity holdings jumped 26%, and funds and investment trusts rose 16%. The re-emergence of inflation is changing Japanese household investment motivations. And China held its loan prime rates in its monthly review yesterday. This is what analysts were expecting though. And China is worried about the outflow of funds by foreign investors. Yesterday it held a symposium for foreign financial institutions and foreign funded enterprises to hear of their concerns and provide reassurances. In Australia, the Victorian state government said it will tax short-stay rental platforms 7.5% from 2025. The US Treasury 10-year yield will start today unchanged at 4.35%, and the price of gold will start today at just on $1,943 an ounce. That's up $13 from yesterday. But oil prices are down a dollar at $89.50 a barrel in the US, while international Brent prices is down to $92.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today still in its recent yo-yo range and up a net 30 basis points from this time yesterday at 59.5 US cents. Prior to the Fed decision, it was up to 59.8 US cents. Against the Aussie, we're holding at 91.9 Australian cents and against the Euro, we're a little firm at 55.7 Euro cents. That all means our trade weight index is up about 20 basis points to 69. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.